Oi, so as you guys know, my ankle is fried. I have a bad ankle from an injury over a year ago and it's still not completely healed yet. It's an ongoing injury, so I haven't been able to skate this week. I skated a couple of times last week and I got a few clips. Is that it? I mean, yeah, you cleared the whole ledge too. You didn't even you didn't clip the ledge coming out or anything. Yeah, I felt like I didn't clip it. That was so good. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that that was like seriously what within two tries? Two hits. Yeah. Two I, hits. I was thinking about it the whole time you guys were skating. I was like, I'm gonna try these tricks. It's in there. It is. See, it's always good to mentally prepare. Uh huh. The morning after, my ankle was like swollen, so it's like. In my sleep, I've injured my ankle somehow, some way. Tried to skate on it yesterday and it didn't work out too well. So I'm gonna have to be off my board for the week. But I wanted to get a video out to you guys. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about how California has changed me. Um, <laughs> it just sounds so cliche, but I've got a few key points here to talk to you guys about. Me being out here around other people that are productive and are working towards their goals and stuff, makes me want to be extra productive so compared to back in sydney where i was kind of laid back and i was kind of like oh, i'll get it done eventually you know there was always time to burn in sydney that i didn't really care for as i do up here because it's always sunny up here and you can always go out and skate and film stuff or go and do whatever so i'm definitely being more productive in that sense like i'm getting out of the house if you guys have watched my channel for a while now you guys will know that i'm a pretty big introvert I like being home a lot, I'm a homebody, so sometimes that can fall in a kind of negative way for myself because I'll always like want to be home, but here it's like, it's so sunny outside, like I'll just go outside, I'll go ride my bike if I'm not going to skate, I'll go down to the beach, kick back, watch the sunset, stuff like that, whereas in Sydney, I didn't feel guilty at all about just staying home, probably because it was like r raining nine times out of ten anyway. Main, that's like one of the main things that is different about me now that I'm more productive and I'm more kind of driven in a sense, I guess. I mean, I was driven in Sydney, but now that I'm here, it's like more of a driving, there's more of a driving force on myself to like be productive and like put out the content and like do the shit that I want to do here. Another way California's changed me is that I'm naturally quite a shy, reserved person. Like, I know it sounds funny, but because I have a YouTube channel and like I put myself out there on the internet or whatever, but I'm very shy and I'm very reserved and introverted, of course. So being up here has kind of forced me out of my shell a little bit. Like I think I've spoken about my first experience like skateboarding around like proper skateboarders here and how shy I was and how modest I was and like I would just stick to my basic tricks and like not want to try anything or learn anything new. But I feel like now I can like be on the session and just like feel like I'm worthy of being on the session of all these people. <laughs> that sounds so funny to me now, but that was my reality. Like when I first come up here and was like skating with everyone, I was like in my head, I'm not worthy of being here. Like I suck at skateboarding. But now it's like I can go skate, have fun, have a laugh with the boys, open up to people. It's been like a growth thing for me, I guess. Like back in Sydney, because Australians have such like a convict style culture, like you'll speak to your mates, but you won't really like speak to new people or make new friends and stuff. I don't know how, I don't know why it's like that, but it's just like an old jail convict thing, I think, in my opinion. That's what I've heard from another Aussie, so yeah. Another really weird thing about how California has changed me is I find myself beginning to kind of assimilate quite a bit and it's scary. Like sometimes I'll roll up to the gas station, I'll roll up to the servo and I'll go to put petrol in my car. And up here you can pay at the pump, you can put your card in the pump and you can pay at the pump. Sometimes I'll roll up to the gas station and then um, the card reader won't work and I'll be like, oh, I'll just go to another servo. Like I'm that precious, I don't want to get out of the car, walk inside and see the cashier. I'll just like drive to another service station to get petrol, <laughs> which is so American because I feel like Americans are about that, you know? Whereas in Oz, you fill up first and then you go inside and pay. So that's like one thing I've become like more Americanized in that sense. Another weird thing of how California's kind of changed me is that my vocabulary has changed quite a bit. People here don't talk the same as they do in Australia. People here speak English 
completely to a T. It's all pronounced and it's all in its entirety. It's not cut down and shortened and there's no real slang. So I find myself having to adjust being able to like speak to people so people understand me kind of thing. Because if I said to someone, Oi, what are you doing in Sabo? You want to go for a skate? They're going to go, what? Arvo? Whereas in Oz, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, sweet, let's go skate. So it's different here. Like the slang doesn't translate. And I feel like because I've started to like change my vocabulary a little bit, a little bit of my accent has started to soften up quite a bit. I always catch myself pronouncing R's like your. I'll say like your and I'm like, ugh. It doesn't feel good in my mouth. Tastes, it feels gross in my mouth to sound like that. But usually if I feel that way and I'm homesick, I just like FaceTime one of the boys and have a convo. And uh, yeah, the accent kind of comes back pretty quickly. Or if I'm angry and I'm like speaking to my housemate, Caden, he reckons he can tell like when I'm pissed off because I'll start talking and I'll just sound, I'll just sound like straight Australian <laughs> compared to like how I usually talk here. Funny enough, I met a couple of Aussie chicks at work a couple weeks ago one of them is like a digital marketing media person like she does a lot of like digital content and stuff for like different companies and one of her clients is penny skateboards so if you're an aussie you've definitely heard of penny skateboards before i think they're out of queensland but yeah she hit me up to model for a shoot so they needed photos and videos we went down to laguna beach we rode around some penny boards um yeah it was a rad day here's the footage from that day Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'm at Laguna Beach right now. So I think we're gonna get some photos and then some videos today, cruising around on these little boards. Hopefully I don't die, because these boards are really fast. It's been a minute since I've ridden one. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so today we're just skating and um, filming with Penny skateboards. <laughs> I'll link you I'll link in the description. <laughs> yeah, if you'll link me in the description. <laughs> I don't skate. <laughs> we moto. So yeah. Moto. Moto. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, I think once I got used to it, it'd be alright, but... It's like a wave one, right? Yeah, I love it. Really? It's, just, it's like surfing. <laughs> yeah, it's like carving. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's easier to just like jump on it than like try to push and balance. How are they different? This is very different because the truck, it's like a carved <laughs> truck. So, you have to carve. My weight goes forward a lot, so I'm like almost falling off. Yeah. But I think if I rode it for like a day or so, I'd get used to it. Yeah. Which is very different. <laughs> Aussie accent from a mile away. As soon as you come in, I was like, my ears just like pricked yeah. up, and I was like, oi, where are you from? <laughs> and then you guys started talking, and this yeah. is this, this is, is how this happened. Yeah. All thanks to me and my spontaneous uh -huh. mind. Spontaneous tattoo. <laughs> yeah. I'm at Laguna Beach, and we're skating. We're Australians. <laughs> yeah, they're commenting on how pretty Laguna is. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I think it's prettier than the GC. <laughs> yeah. I reckon it is for sure. Yeah. No tall buildings here. Yeah, covering over the shadow on the beach. 
Yeah. I wonder if I can deep lift this thing. Yeah. <laughs> My heel dragged, but I'm going to take it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much it for this video guys uh yeah i'm bummed i can't skate but content is content this is kind of like two videos put together into one shouts out to k dubs and taylor shouts out to taylor for filming um if you want to go and check out her youtube channel the just the link is in the description below she rides motos rips um yeah it's sick to see i have a dirt bike right now being built it should be built soon so it's going to be fun to learn how to ride two strokes. Until next time, guys, cheers for watching the video. If you've made it this far, don't forget to check out eveningmob.com. 20% off right now. And yeah, cheers. <laughs> On your way back, bring me his son.